Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, I'll be talking about Cloud Code, a new feature Cloud team has introduced, which is currently in the research preview at the moment. So we just go and search for Cloud Code and you'll see that this is where you're gonna end up in, the, in Google. And this says that the uh, Cloud Code is currently in beta as a research preview. So I got access to the research preview of the Cloud Code and I'm gonna show you how to work with the Cloud Code. Basically, uh, Cloud Code is pretty much like another agent which is going to perform the operation for you so it's going to go and sleep in your code analyze your code understand how your code is smells in every syntaxes that you have got and then it's going to perform the operation that you are going to tell the cloud code to do this is going to be pretty much like a non-ui based uh, agent which is going to be uh, done by other ui based agents like a cursor or the github copilot agent or a client for that matter so those uh, ides are quite doing exactly the same thing but this cloud code is going to be pretty much exactly doing the same thing as well but just that this is going to be done from a command line interface that is the only difference between both of them if i'm not wrong and i'm going to show you my take on what this cloud code is going to look like for your daily programming or testing and mostly focusing on testing to be honest because this is execute automation focusing mostly on testing sites so i'm going to talk about testing areas mostly and just for a spoiler alert i'm just going to tell you that cloud code is not that amazing or great as cursor because it is very costly comparing to the cursor itself because if you go and buy the subscription of the cursor for an year it's going to cost you around 160 dollar but uh, if you go and use the cur the cloud code it is going to cost you a lot because every single api call that you make every single token costs you and not for you to use this cloud code you need to have the uh, the money being topped up in the cloud api so it's going to use the cloud api to perform the operation and using the latest model like sonnet 3.7 or 3.5 for that matter well, as I said, I'm going to show you how to use this cloud code. All you have to do it is just go and install this particular command line and then start working with it. So I'm going to go and choose, I run this particular npm install and you see that that's how you install the cloud code in a machine. And all you have to do it is just say cloud uh, and code. That's it. It is going to start doing things for you behind the scene for you and i'm just going to show you uh, immediately like how this uh, this code is basically it is very very super simple code that i have got it has got nothing really it is just a feature file and this is the feature file that i have got over here uh, and you will notice that um and this this is the cursor ide that i have got it's going to do the exact same operation which you can probably do it uh, with the cloud code as well uh, so what i'm going to tell this time to the cloud code so just uh, just to show you a demonstration there just say cloud code and hit enter this is going to uh, open the cloud code for you on that particular directory it's going to go and analyze the folder structure it's going to understand things and then it's going to tell you that uh, there we go because this code itself has got nothing really yeah it is going to ask you the question that what are you gonna um liking me to help with in the programming task examine the code write a new code debugging and explaining the concepts pretty much like how other tools does right and over here you can hit a slash and it will give you a lot of details like clear compact config costs and uh, doctor uh, and then uh, help in it uh, mcp uh, memory and things of that nature and one thing which is very interesting is the mcp itself so if you just hit mcp over there it shows me that the mcp server status with the playwright mcp server is connected i mean i have configured the playwright mcp server already but if you want to configure the Playwright MCP server with the uh, Cloud uh, code, then you just gonna search for MCP in the directory, I mean, in the page over here, you see that there's a Cloud MCP. And if you just go and hit this tutorial and go all the way down somewhere, you see that we have got a setup model context protocol option available and tells you that this is the thing that you have to use, Cloud MCP add, and then the MCP server name. So if we go and use our Excel automation Playwright MCP server, you can notice that this is the command that you had to give like uh, like cloud uh, code so let's just say cloud code uh, and then just go to the documentation oh sorry not cloud code cloud mcp add and then you give the name of the period mcp server or whatever name that you wanted to give it uh, so let's say mcp uh, playwright like that and then you can uh, give the command that you want to configure with so the command is going to be um, the 
this one, right? This is the name of the command. So I'm going to just take that one over here. And also we need to give the command as npx over here. So you see that this is the same command that we have to follow along and you can see that's the one npx and then this command. So you don't have to give the hyphen y flag. You just have to give the npx and then at execute automation slash playwright mcp server that is going to configure uh, the, the execute automation playwright mcp server to your cloud. So I'm going to say npx and then the at execute automation slash playwright mcp server and once i hit the enter you'll notice that the mcp server is connected and now if i just say slash mcp uh, like that and if i hit enter uh, it is going to show you the uh, playwright mcp server which is already connected because they, they both are essentially the same thing so that's why it is going to show you like that i think there is also something called as um, the cloud uh, mcp uh, list which is going to show you the list of player mcp server yeah there we go see that one of the I, once i enter it it's going to show you all the different player mcp server and once again they both are essentially the same thing that's why it is going to show you that it, this is how it has been configured over here so now that we have seen how you can configure and player mcp server or any mcp server for that matter with the cloud uh, code and now we can use the cloud code to perform the operation of pretty much like the automation testing for that matter. So I'm gonna say, uh, I wanted to uh, perform uh, perform the operation specified in the login.features. And if I hit enter, let us see really what's gonna happen. So it's gonna go and read the uh, file over there for me. And look at that, now it's invoking the player MCP server for me, and then it's gonna perform all the different operation. Uh, pretty much like whatever that we have told. Look at that. Now it's going to go navigate, performing a login operation. It's going to hit enter. Uh, and then it is going to do probably a uh, log off operation. Yeah, that's what we have said. So yeah, you see that it's all been done and the screenshot is being saved over here. So if I just go to the um, cursor ID over here, you see that's what we have told over here to perform. And that's what it is doing for me over there. And now if I'm going to write one more scenario, so I'm going to go paste it over here, uh, login, uh, and uh, I'm gonna say, and I click the employee list button, and I click the create new button, uh, and I enter some realistic uh, data uh, in the uh, name, description, uh, maybe salary, uh, I don't know whatever the field that we have got. I have went through this page millions of time. So name, salary, duration, work. Uh, name, salary, duration, work. Then we have, uh, I'm just going to leave the grade as it is. I'm going to say email. Uh, uh, and then I click the save button. And I click uh, log off. Is it log off we have got over there? Yeah, log off. So I'm gonna save this one and I'm gonna uh, just run this again. So if I'm gonna run this code one more time uh, like that, so it's gonna perform these two operations for me over there. So let me just log off just in case. Uh, and then you will see that things are going to just work pretty much like whatever that has been mentioned on this particular feature file. But the thing is, it is really, really costly, guys. I'm telling you, just to perform this operation, if you use Cursor and you're going to be just doing a monthly subscription, which also has got the same uh, Cloud 3.5 model for you, which is going to do the exact same kind of operation and you pay much, much lesser. And you don't really worry about how many times you're going to be calling the, uh, the Cursor IDE to perform the operation or GitHub Copilot for that matter. But in here, you have to keep on looking at the price which is spent. I mean, the cost which has been spent for every single request that you are doing. I am telling you guys, this is really, really very costly. And every single time while I use this uh, the cloud code, I feel like I'm going to lose a lot of money over there. I already topped up like $30 and I lost within like uh, 10 days that all the money is gone. But the same $30, if I'm going to be topping up with the Cursor IDE, uh, like a monthly subscription, it is like it's you can just call n number of time and even for 30 days you're going to be using more than like in cloud case if you're going to be using the cloud code for 30 days i am going to be spending around like 100 dollar which is the same thing you can use in cursor for just like 30 dollar so it is completely like costly uh, way of using the same operation that you can do with 
that too with a non GUI uh, way of doing it. Um, that is what is my take really, if you're gonna use the cloud code, but let's let me know what is your thoughts about the cloud code. But, but yeah, this is the first taste of the research preview of the beta version of the cloud code for you. And you can see that this is how you configure the MCP server and work with it. But if you ask me whether Kathik, which one do you choose? Do you wanna choose the cursor IDE or the GitHub Copilot or the cloud code, I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm immediately gonna say, go with Cursor or GitHub Copilot. That is amazing than compared to cloud code itself. That's it guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and hope it makes more sense of using this uh, non-GUI based cloud code. Catch you in the next one.